Victor. <laughs> Victor. What are you doing? Oh, uh... I'm, uh... Oh. You sound like a pervert at a magazine stand. Oh. What did I ask you to do? Look up information about Superman? That's right. And are you looking up information about Superman? Not exactly. I see. Well, Victor, what exactly are you doing? Well, I found this file on Lois Lane's computer, and uh, it looks like she's writing some kind of novel. Uh, it's a story about this female reporter who meets this guy from outer space, and uh, it's really very good. It's got a lot of that stuff in it. <laughs> It was the last file. Mm -hmm. I couldn't find anything else. Well, I found something. You did what? Yeah, well, there's a whole subdirectory on Lois Lane's C drive about Superman. Oh. Fortunately, most of it's just worthless, worthless, worthless. Except for this. Now, it seems about two months ago. Our friend Superman was rendered temporarily... What's this word? Uh, inflicted with occipital opacity. What does that mean? Couldn't see. Couldn't see. Couldn't see? He couldn't see because of a special light beam developed by a certain Dr. Faraday. And... Ha <laughs> ha! She's got all the unprintable details about it right in here. All we have to do is make the light beams shorter. Oh! <laughs>